this movie celebrated their 25 year anniversary and i'm shocked how many people got angry at me for saying that it was a bad movie uh twister is a good movie by or boldly yeah i it's a good movie in the same way that saved by the bell is a good tv show i don't understand i'm not following saved by the bell is awful awfully transcendent <laughs> saved by the bell is only popular because it is so horrifically cheesy that people enjoy it because it gives them an uncomfortable feeling in watching it because they're embarrassed for everyone involved. Uh, that is not my personal experience with Say by the Bell at all. I've never disagreed with you more on this show. We've been together for almost 10 years. Never, ever disagreed okay. with you more. Okay. Like, I'm personally insulted by that summation of Say by the Bell. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know that we were going to open up the door here on this, but that that you could not possibly be what, more wrong. Give me one redeeming quality of actual value of Saved by the, the script Bell. writing was amazing. <laughs> I mean, it was it was unbelievable. The dialogue between the characters was fantastic. It gave you, you a glimpse into that era were you, of moving were from you, the 1980s into the were 1990s. Were you trapped in suspense and concern over whether or not the one gal was when she was hooked on the Jesse Spano? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited. Well, it, it dealt with, I mean, that that's actually a great example because that's one of their best episodes. Now, Jesse Spano has the Hot Sunday music video and a final exam. And she has, she's trying to do both, right? Because she's trying to get into a good school. And it's the pressures and the issues that normal American teens face. Okay. And I'm sorry that, like, you think that that's, like, cheesy or not cool. Like, addiction and, and uh, yeah. time management was, are real it was, things. It was so masterfully acted. That it landed her right there smack in the middle of Showgirls. And then, who knows? Uh, now, now, if I'm not mistaken, well, she she's, running around, she's running around Costco with Ricky Schroeder, I think. To be fair, she that. was the lead in Showgirls. So <laughs> okay. that's not easy to, good do, to be the lead character. Yeah, she looked good. That's another movie that I thought had excellent dialogue. <laughs> okay. And Mario Lopez has yeah. become a pop culture icon. He is big. Dustin Diamond, R.I.P., had a good run of relevance there. Good run of relevance that came with his own personal was, adult films look, he and was relevant. living in Wisconsin in a trailer. Relevant. Okay. He's relevant. Okay. Uh, Lisa Turtle kind of went a little berserko. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that one. How but about the rest Zach, of them. Zach Morris? Yeah, Mark Paul Gossier. He did, yeah. like, didn't he do, like, Law & Order or something for a while? Uh, he, too, yeah. every year shows up in the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. Who am I missing out of that group? Oh, God, how could I miss Mr. her? Mr. Belding? Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Okay, well, that that's, yeah. Beautiful. Hey, 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 what is going on she here? She is the Julia Louise Dreyfus of her generation, where She's, they just age like fine wine. Just Tiffany beautiful. Amber Thiessen's an attractive Gorgeous. woman. Too. Yes, I've never coveted. The 1989 Ken Griffey okay. Jr. Upper okay. Deck Rookie Card right. and Kelly Kapowski, the two things that I've coveted the most in my life. Okay. And stardom, but I've already attained that. <laughs> okay, sure. 